Yo, what up guys, Old School Dan here and welcome back to another video of the video series, Training Secrets Better Than Steroids. So in today's topic, we're gonna talk about a specific tip, a specific old school technique that I learned from Reg Park and a few old school mod, um, modern bodybuilders. Um, this tip is great, it works incredibly well for you know training your back, getting your back to grow, building that mind muscle connection with back and chest, not only just back, but chest as well. So. Let's dive into it. In today's video, you know, a lot of people, when they train their back or their chest or any body part, right, they use a grip that looks like this, right? Thumb in, I'm sorry, thumb like that. It's over, right? And, you know, it makes sense because a lot of people, you know, majority of the lifters lift like that. And, you know, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a nice, safe way to lift. Um, I highly recommend it. But if you have a hard time, you know, getting your chest or back to, really feel that mind's muscle connection. And you know, while there are tips like, and I'm talking about specifically for back, there are tips that are like, pull with the elbows and, sh and stuff like that, that though, you know, those are great tips, but how do you take that a step further? We take it a step further, you're gonna take, a, take it a step further by doing this. So you know, everybody uses this grip, a fist. Now, next time you train back, specifically, I want you to use this type of grip. This, thumb out. Take the thumb out of the equation. Take the thumb out when you're doing pull-ups, V-bar pull-down, specifically, you know, after the gym, or you know, the next time you work out, go to the gym and do a V-bar pull-down. And instead of doing it like this, you know, overhand, I want you to just try this, you know, just with the V-bar grip. Try it like this, you know, your thumb over, and then try it with the thumb out. You'll see that a lot of stress is taken off of your form and put more on sort of um, mentally, I want to say like the elbow or like the lat. So you're able to pull and really contract the muscle thoroughly or even feel the muscle a lot more thoroughly. This is something that works incredibly well for back. Highly recommended. You can do rows. The only downside about it is that you can't necessarily go heavy unless you get really good at, you know, using this type of grip. Because when you use this type of grip, hell yeah, you can move some weight like crazy weight because you have so much more grip strength. Your forearms are in the equation. But when you do this, you're taking it out of the, you're taking a, fat, a limiting factor out. And that's one of the things that when it comes to training back, sometimes your forearm comes into play, sometimes your bicep comes into play. So we gotta take that out because bodybuilding is all about isolation. Now, when it comes to training chest, this is something that I learned from John John that John John learned from Reg Park. When he explained that when Reg Park would do the incline press because he started stopped doing the um, bench pressing so much, and we started doing the incline Smith machine press, he liked to use a you know thumbless grip because again, it takes the form out of the equation. And in the next video I'm gonna show you right now is gonna be a demonstration, but let me finish talking about this. So it takes this form of the equation and allows you to work the muscle a lot thoroughly. And specifically, a lot of people have a very hard time getting their upper chest to grow. And you know, it, as a natural bodybuilder, as any bodybuilder, it's a tough region you know, to get, get that to grow because you know, there's, a, there's not a lot of meat there. It's, just right, it's right by the collarbone. So this is gonna work incredibly well. It's very effective. Um, I highly recommend it. I think you should be including this in your chest and back workouts just a few times, maybe until, you know, you could use it as a training wheel. You could you not use it as a training wheel. You could use it to, you know, forever. But I like to use it sometimes to humble myself and to make sure that, okay, do not forget what the mind to muscle connection of the back feels like. What does it really feel like to train your back? Because a lot of people, when they train their back, you know, a lot of bicep, a lot of forearm, they're not really good at getting the, the most out of their back as they should be. So I like to humble myself, and I think you should humble yourself as well, as in taking that out and really feel the muscle being worth pulling with the elbows, because this, it, it dissipates this, and it removes it mentally, and it just creates this like, okay, this is a hook, this is a hook, this doesn't exist, this has a string attached to my back, and it goes back and forth, like that. That's the way I like to see it. The same thing with kind of like the chest as well. I'm um, taking the thumb out, pulling the string back, and this doesn't exist. This does not exist. This is the hook of the. This is the hook that's hooked onto the bar, and it's stuck there. And the string's being pulled back and yanked forward when I do chest. That's my. That's how I visualize it when I'm training back or chest. So that's you know that's a great tip. That's a great old school bodybuilding tip that that's from Reg Park. It works incredibly well, guys. Um, in that, with that being said, I'll see you in the video demonstration. Guys, just wanted to say thank you so much for the support on purchasing the ebook. I know you guys freaking love it. I'm getting a lot of good feedback from it. But if you're curious to learn more about the ebook and whatnot, click the link in the description. There's a bunch of details about the ebook in there. Um, anyways, that being said, let's go ahead and move into the demonstration video. So 
here I am doing a you know a wide sort of a wide grip chin up, um, but with a you know thumbless grip. And like I said, like I stated earlier, you know, at the beginning of the video, the reason being is because it takes you know one thing out of the equation, which is the forearms. Sometimes the forearms they tend to um, you know contract more than the the back should be, you know than the back. And when when it comes to doing pull ups, the reason we do pull ups is to you know to work the back. We're not there to work the biceps and work the um, forearms or anything like that. We want to work back, right? And the same thing with chest too. This is something Reds Park did as well. When he was training his chest, he wants to isolate better, use a thumbless grip. And I know sometimes it may be a little bit dangerous and whatnot that using this type of grip is not as safe because you're not, you know, you don't have a full, full grip on that bar, if you know what I mean. So yeah, guys, definitely highly recommend that you try this tip out. I guarantee you will see, you know, a big, you know, change when it comes to really contracting your back or chest. But, you know, just just a disclaimer to be really, really careful and make sure you live safely. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for all your support. Subscribe more videos like this. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'm Dan. I'm gone. Peace.